<gasps> it's like a silly reporting here. This is the right way to throw an axe. No, it is all tied up. Nice and throw. this was a Fox News exclusive. <laughs> Fox and Friends co-host Pete Hegseth aiming for accuracy and missing. Who's going to win this battle with the lumberjacks? That's way over it. Back. What you didn't see on air is what the axe hit, or should we say who? Drum roll, please. <laughs> okay. West Point marching band drummer Jeff Prospery <laughs> got Jesus hammered Christ. by the axe while the other band members kept drumming. Ouch. Okay. But soon after, Prospery was being interviewed by the very co-host who nailed him. It's a delight to be here to celebrate. Absolutely. And an even bigger delight to still have both hands. Oof. On his Facebook page, Prospery posted the cell phone video and called the mishap obvious negligence. I am thankful to God that the double-sided blade only hit broadside on the outer elbow with significant impact and a couple of cuts. Yeah, I mean, that's a big old piece of metal and a stick. Like That's still going to hurt, but obviously I think we'll all take the... The blow instead of we'll take the we'll take the uh, blunt damage instead of the uh, slashing damage. You know. He said he was focusing on full physical and emotional. I wonder if a lawyer gave him some words to say for these comments. Free. Is it just me or is that code for a lawsuit? Uh, Pro <laughs> well, there you go. See, C and I are on the same page. Let's okay. We'll finish through this. There's obviously a lot of watch time right here. He's not commenting, and Fox News didn't reply. But who needs enemies when you've got Fox and friends like these? You gotta pass. Oops, I'm sorry. <laughs> Accidentally <laughs> tossing a ball in the face of a two-year-old basketball phenom. Oh, no. we'll right I would back. cry at my age if that happened to me. This is a little baby boy. Friends like these. Oops, I'm sorry. <laughs> Accidentally <laughs> tossing a ball in the face of a two-year-old basketball phenom. Uh, we'll be right back. We'll see how tight it is. Brian Kilby. You Fucking, that guy's not just smooth brained, he's smooth stemmed. Nervous, yeah, sp spinal cord. Not, um, well, that sucks. Poor kid, just on having his big moment. What if he peaked? Do you think he peaked? Do you think that was it for that kid? Do you think that was his fucking the top of his house? I was in a play when I was a kid. I think I peaked. I think I peaked at, at seven when I was Edmund in the line, the witch in the wardrobe. At the <laughs> yeah, all right. Well, they, they heard a kid and the guy heard a child, I mean, a drummer. Uh, yeah, definitely negligent. It's not just the throw that's negligent. It's more the producers who set up this whole thing. Look at this board. Look at this. I mean, you're throwing axes. I, 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 clearly, it, it's, I mean, everything I'm about to say is completely obvious to everybody. Watching. Like, look at this. Look at how bad. <laughs> Why would you think that's sufficient? I was thinking, okay, see this log here right there? These are those like uh, chopping logs. This one here too. Uh, they do these uh, woodsman contests and stuff. They're it's pretty popular. I would I've never been live to one, um, but I would I would drop in. I mean these 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 guys do some crazy stuff, especially like where they have car engines that run chainsaws, and they cut just a disc off a log. I'm sure that's really cool. I mean I I, I can definitely appreciate the kind of like ingenuity and you know sort of like raw you know it's kind of a mat, but like I don't know. You aren't, I'm not trying to take away the toughness of all that but it's that's that's such a niche one at least this guy's swinging the axis makes sense but they're these these dudes are just there's big strong guys usually right and they're and the ones that climb up and then drop down the big pole those are tough don't i don't like seeing people get injured in videos but occasionally you catch like a an instagram reel or some shit where they fall poorly because your leg catches or something it's it's a gnarly way to drop it snap, snap open a hip but the guys that swing the axes on these things and there's audiences around I just feel like one slip. I know these dudes aren't, I mean, you know, it's unlikely that they're going to let go, but there's no kill switch on that. They don't like tie it to themselves in case they let go of the blade and it might just whip off into the audience. Very risky. Human beings, we, we, we mess with physics too much. And this is a good example.